Hello dear colleagues, dear Sears. So it's Sandra Gorma, the segment manager for Mobile Mapping Solution on the CX Navigation. Today we are on Intergeo and during this week we present to Geo Special Community some several latest products from our site. We are on Mobile Mapping Corner and you can see all our leaders here, but the most important we release our own drone these days on Intergeo. The most important that with the leader, it can fly usually two times longer right now than it was before in the past. With such compact A10 device, A10 leader, we estimate it fly 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. Another advantage of X500 that we can take much heavier payload, up to five kilograms, mm -hmm. so it can use different leaders, medium size, a heavy heavyweight one for better accuracy, better penetration of the trees and the better density. But also it can use all available payloads from the market. It could be installed with a CHC Alpha port. It can go with a Sky port from the DJI and with other integrators. The drone, as you can see from the video and from the specs, it's very robust because we tested for the one year in the very hard environment. From the minus 30 temperature to plus 60 degrees, in the rainy environment, it has an IP55, and also in the salty fog environments, which is needed for manufacturing survey on the factory with the pipes. Uh, a new feature, which is really needed for the geospatial community, it can land on the three propellers. So if one is broken, have a malfunction, it will make a spiral landing on the three props. It means you will not lose, you will not lose the expensive payload. This is also one of the important release from mobile mapping division. This is a RS10 held held laser scanner. You can say, yeah, it's a standard SRAM device, but our vision, we try to solve the pain points of the classical SRAM scanners. How? Because we integrate high precision Genesis board here, same as we use in our Genesis receiver. Also, we have a powerful chipset, the processor, to make a real-time SRAM computation. What it means for the users? If you have ability to start outside, to connect to the course, to get the RTK corrections and have a fix, you will work in the predefined coordinate system. And you can go from outdoor scanning to the indoor scanning in the same coordinate system frame. And the data, what will be collected in the field, immediately will be viewed in the software later. So you don't need to spend the time in the office as it was before for the SRAM process. One big advantage of the RS-10, it can get a point cloud, it can be used as a handheld SRAM scanner, but also we can use it as a new way of a Genesis receiver. And usually you always have a red line when you cross it near the face of the building, under the bridge, in the, the tunnel. When you cross it, you don't have a Genesis tracking, so you don't have a fixed position. With RS-10, we are the first to get a point cloud, and this point cloud will be calculated SRAM trajectory. So we are the first to update by the SRAM the Genesis position. It means you can work fully indoor to measure your X, Y, Z coordinate. Mm -hmm. For one minute of Genesis outage, we have a five centimeter guaranteed accuracy. And the second patented technology, name it V-Leader. So you can see we have a three camera. Mm -hmm. And you can aim on the vertical objects, facades of the building, walls. And from the camera, you select any pixel and you will get a coordinate measured from the laser scanner. So now users, who want to work with the Genesis, have ability to work everywhere where previously it was impossible. We upgrade our Genesis portfolio with the latest release of the most compact Genesis receiver, i76. In the very yeah, compact device size, right? form factor, we have uh, all constellations, mm -hmm. rover and base option, GSM and the UHF radio options. All in one, in very, very lightweight and the compact design. Also, you can see on this table our latest total station based on the Android technology. Mm -hmm. For the user, it's a big advantage because they use the same software on the Genesis, Landstar 8. From the Genesis, they move to total station using the Android software. Main update from Marine Division, we have a own self-developed CHC multi-beam echo sounder, which can be installed on our medium-sized Apache 4, 
or big size Apache 6 USB.